Hello and welcome to Five Literary Hoaxes. Uh, check the description for links to sources and further reading. Number one, under the same immortal stars. My Immortal is an infamously awful Harry Potter fan fiction which first appeared online around 2006, most notable for transporting the action into some bizarre gothic parallel universe where the main action revolved around self-insert main character Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way and her battles against the preps. In September 2017, St Martin's Press revealed an upcoming memoir with Rose Christo, apparently the author of My Immortal, called Under the Same Stars. Rose said she'd written it in one of many foster homes whilst trying to find her brother. However, after several background checks, it emerged that she adopted documents of her family, though she insists it was to protect their identity. Under the Same Stars was cancelled only a month after acceptance. 2. The Klansman Who Impersonated a Cherokee In 1976, the memoir of an orphan Cherokee boy, The Education of Little Tree, became a raging success, with many hailing its author, Forrest Carter, as a leading voice of Native American people. Forrest insisted his royalties went to tribal causes and made many appearances, including Barbara Walters' TV show. However, after his death in a bar fight, his real identity was revealed. Not only was Ace Earl Carter a former clan member from a very white, very Christian background, he was the author of the Segregation Now, Segregation Tomorrow, Segregation Forever speech given by Alabama Governor George Wallace. The revelation didn't affect the popularity of his book, which was later turned into a film. As with the royalties, the Cherokee people didn't see a dime. 3. J.T. Leroy, The Boy Who Never Was I was a fan of J.T. Leroy in the 90s, when the mysterious young man was writing Burroughs-like cult memoirs of his sex worker mother, abuse, drugs and neglect, which Asia Argento made into a film in 2004. At first he made live appearances in a blonde wig, facing away from the audience and whispering Q&A answers to a companion, usually an unknown woman called Emily Fraser. Then, one day, we found out that J.T. Leroy was Emily Fraser, or rather, J.T. Leroy didn't exist, and Emily Fraser had dressed her sister-in-law up in a bizarre form of cosplay. Two documentaries have been made since, one focusing more on the pair's con and the outrage of various celebrities and fans, and another called Author, The J.T. Leroy Story, by the Devil and Daniel Johnston filmmaker. This takes a more charitable view, suggesting Emily was confused about her identity and even that the whole thing was an elaborate form of performance art. It's actually quite interesting. 4. Controversial Roots Roots is a seminal work of non-fiction in which Alex Haley traced his ancestry back to Kunta Kinte, captured from Gambia and sold into slavery in the 18th century. Roots won a Pulitzer Prize and the National Book Award, and a much-loved TV series was broadcast in 1977. Doubt has since been cast on the validity of much of the story, however, after Haley settled a plagiarism case with the author of the 1967 novel The African. No evidence of events from the 19th century section could be found, and scholar of African-American studies Henry Louis Gates dismissed it as a work of the imagination. It can't be argued, though, that Alex Haley's story of six generations brought the horrors of slavery to modern mainstream white audiences and helped pave the way for other popular writers of colour. 5. The Book That Bought the New York Times in 2017, The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas sat in its rightful place at the top of the New York Times bestseller list. In August, Handbook for Mortals by Lani Serum knocked it off the number one spot. The only thing was, nobody had ever heard of it. None of the book bloggers were blogging about it. 
and many of the Amazon and Goodreads reviews were dubious, including several duplicates. Investigators took to Twitter to see what they could find, uncovering an arrangement with Result Source, a company known for buying books in bulk to cheat the system and get onto the New York Times list, a plagiarised front cover, and a plan to make a movie version with American Pie actor Thomas Ian Nicholas. Lanny, of course, was to take the starring role. Both she and Thomas Ian Nicholas insisted the bulk buying was due to overwhelming demand at cons, where they were shifting around 2,000 copies at a time, though neither bookshop workers or cons seemed aware of its existence. When asked at WizardCon if Lanny felt bad for taking Angie Thomas's place, she replied, It's not my fault Angie is a black writer. On top of all this, a band she managed in the past, Blues Traveller, tweeted, Yes, this is weird, but not surprising. We fired her for these kinds of stunts. Her sense of denial is staggering, and she really is a master at describing how her hair seems, based on your selected excerpt, end quote. He's not wrong. It's so awful that many were convinced it had been written by the My Immortal author. I've included a link in the description to Jenny Trout's blog, which goes through it chapter by chapter, and I was cackling with laughter. Well, that's it. I might do a part two at some point because so many strange things have happened in the literary world. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, etc. And I will see you soon.